This is a simple SAT question that they provide on the official practice test by College Board. For this question, we are going to find out how many solutions does the equation 66x equals 66x have. It looks a little bit strange because the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. But this is not tricky at all. It might be tricky because it's too easy, I'll tell you that. I would say, notice they are exactly the same on either side, right? This right here is always true. No matter what you pick for x. Therefore, the answer for this right here is that we have infinitely many solutions. x can be anything that you want. It can be 1, plug in, it works. x can be 17, plug in, it works. x can be 0, it will work. x can be negative 25, it will also work. So that's it. Seriously, well done. However, sometimes the equations will be really, really strange. So I would like to say this is my first example for this video. I would like to demonstrate the other two situations. Because sometimes we could also end up with an equation that actually has no solutions. Have a look. Let's say we have 66x equals still 66x. And again, this is a totally different equation. Let's say here, though, we have a plus any number, let's say 17. You can put plus 1, plus 5, doesn't matter. Don't say plus 0. If you want to solve this equation, what would you do? Well, I want to put all of the x's on one side. So maybe that's minus 66x here. And do the same thing here. So this and that cancel. So this is 0. That's good. And we will just have 0 plus 17. So that is equal to 17. But what happened to the left hand side? 66x minus 66x is 0 times x, which is just 0. Now have a look. Right here we are saying 0 is equal to 17. Is this true? No, it's not possible, right? This is never true. So how many solutions does this equation have? No solutions. You can say 0 solutions, but Let's just say no solutions. No numbers will make this equation work. Now, here is another situation. Let's say I'm giving you 66x equals 65x. Now, the left-hand side and the right-hand side are not the same anymore. OK, how do we solve x? Well, let's subtract 65x to both sides so that we can put all the terms with x together on one side. On the right hand side, this minus that is equal to 0. On the left hand side, 66x minus 65x. We have 1 times x, which is just x. Now we're done, because we are saying 1x, right? We got the x by itself, and that's equal to a number, so we are done. Do we have any solutions? Yes, we do. We have one solution here, so I'll just say, the answer for this, we have one solution, and the solution is x equals 0. That will make this work. Okay? And, yeah, first situation, infinite mean solutions, right here. If you wanted to subtract 66 to both sides, so the refresh the number 1 again, 66x equals, don't worry, the ink will come out. If you have 66x equals 66x, if you want to do what we did, if you subtract 66x to both sides, this and that cancel. On the right hand side, you get 0. But on the right hand side, you also get 0. 0 is equal to 0. This right here, again, is always true. Therefore, we have infinitely many solutions for that if you wanted to actually do some work but you don't have to at all. Alright, that's it.